everything. We are a culture that's eating its own tail. So we're always looking at these things and trying to figure out how do we keep it re how do we keep it like traditional, but how do we reinvigorate it so that people aren't bored with it? And if it's not if it's not more of the awesomeness, like this time he's not just going to have this, he's going to have a this you know, time 18 awesome. fucking feet tall. This time the zombies are fat. Yeah, right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and um, so, you know, I think we're going to get a point where, like, I mean, humans, as consumers and tellers of stories, we have certain things that hit us really well, like, they always hit us, and we'll keep revisiting them. Mm -hmm. And, and, and ultimately, it is usually the storyteller and the characters that they tell a story about that make the story new. That is ultimately like, like it. And if you can engender an emotion in your reader, that is good. And it doesn't matter if it's a traditional zombie, a voodoo zombie, a, a, a sparkly vampire, or a beautiful vampire, or, you know, or Dracula, or whatever. I mean, those are the, I don't know. That's yeah, we, we don't care so much that the monster is killing people. You, raise the stakes and you make the reader or the viewer give a shit if you, you know, if you care about who the monster may or may not actually kill. Like, you could have the badasses, zombies, and the most, you know, if, if, if you have 90 minutes of a movie that's just people shooting zombies, like a group of five people or whatever, they're running through the countryside, side, they're being chased by these awesome monsters, and all you, that movie is is just them capping monsters, but you don't learn anything about the people, you don't give a shit whether they get killed or not. Or whether, you know, you have no context and you don't have a, a, a stake in the in, you have you don't have any stake in the game. Like all, all this, this was what I was trying to get to earlier is that all the monster movies are ultimately about people and the and, and cool. Like I can forgive. Like you gotta have super cool monsters without me caring about the characters. I'm not gonna give a crap about the story because who cares? It's, it's, and that, that's one of the things about Lord of the Rings that it's like you know that I think the movies did better because they actually.